All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's 4.37, July the 12th. God bless each and every one of you. I hope and pray everybody receives a message from this. Um, you guys, the best way I know how to say this is Scripture is going to be fulfilled to the letter. Every, every single word will be fulfilled. And uh, those who are taking the doctrine, the teaching that was written by the uh, Holy Apostles, okay? Those through the Holy Spirit. And they uh, take and they change what they've written. They will be um, found out, you know, and it's going to, they're going to be in God's hands. And scripture warns about that too. Taking the word of God and uh, taking words out or putting words in, making it fit to your understanding. And we're in the last days, you guys, and this is what's happened. A lot of people right now today are doing just that. They've uh, they've twisted scripture. Um, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to be bothering with uh, debating about these people because they're going to be in God's hands. That's how I see it. And um, those having itchy ears, if they're not able to hear past the lies that are being given, then I just have to look at it like this. Scripture says, having itchy ears, uh, lust of the flesh, lust of these, the world, they're going to flock to these people. And, uh, you know, it'll be their own undoing. That's how I see it. I don't know what else to say other than they're going to do what they do. And those of us who are following Christ daily, one day at a time, we will uh, we'll either see him or we won't see him in the kingdom of heaven. And I think there's going to be, there's a good chance we won't see him because it's pretty easy to see who they are. I mean, they come out openly saying that they sin daily. And we've been over scriptures here a lot, you guys, that say, you are whom you obey, whether sin into death or obedience unto God. You know, and if you're sinning every day, I'm, that is not obedience unto God, but obedience unto the devil. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out when we hear them. Anyhow, let us be, uh, let us be strong, you guys. Tomorrow, I've got one more broadcast on WLAF Radio AM. And uh, that'll be my last broadcast. And um, I've talked to many people, you guys, going to the churches around here. And they have like a glazed look over their eyes. They can't understand. They can't see the things that are happening right now. God's got it. Right in plain sight. You know, most of these people, you can see they're like puppets. And uh, they're being driven to do what they do. Our government is passing laws that are clearly an abomination to God. And uh, these people still, um, it just seems to be going over their heads. You know, the homosexual agenda with the rainbow on the flag, the LGBT they're like the frosting on the cake. And uh, if we didn't have the cake, we wouldn't have them, would we? You know, so the sin is everywhere. You know, it's all over the place. And uh, God help them, you know. I mean, we can say what we say. We can comfort and edify one another. But we can't change the fact that a lot of these people are going to uh, do what they do, you know? A lot of these people are going to uh, do just what Scripture says. Yeah, I just seen a hawk over there just laying down the 
rail over there. That's the first time I've seen a hawk like that. But anyhow, um, people are going to do what they're going to do, and we can't, we can't stop that, you know? Those who truly love the Lord, as it says, those who fear God will depart from evil. Those who uh, practice in iniquity, there's no fear of God in those people. Those who say they're sinning daily, they don't follow Christ, as it says, daily. You know? It's just that simple. And uh, the majority of people, we can see it right now, they're all flocking to these people that make them feel good. That's what they do, make them feel good. These are the last days, you guys, and people are teaching a different Jesus Christ. Okay? No repentance and future sins. Okay? Jesus said to take this life daily, one day at a time. He didn't say nothing about future. He said one day at a time. And Jesus also said, repent of your sins. And this is not what people are doing. Not on these future sinners anyhow. And there's a lot of these people that are flocking to those channels. Um, all you have to do, you can see in here. You know, if there's, if they're, if they're telling you it's okay to uh, do that type of stuff, you should know right away. Right away. You know, the devil is going to. Uh, those that are his are going to be in those type of channels. You you should be able to tell who they are. Second Peter chapter 2, 2-4 two through four, And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Through covetedness they shall with fringed words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not and their damnation slumbereth not. For if God spared not the angels that sinned but cast them down into hell and delivered them unto chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. Matthews chapter 24, 24 through 26. For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore if they say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, Go not forth. He is in the secret chambers. Believe it not. These things are already happening, you guys. It's There's people from all over the world that are... Uh, Mexico, They I've heard they got them there. Spain, maybe France. I mean, they're all over the place. And they've got large followings. And the next thing to that is going to be Satan's ministers of uh, righteousness. Okay, he's got them here too. The next thing to that. People are going to tell you the things you want to hear rather than um, picking up your cross, following Christ daily. You know, and that's going to require you to not do the things that you used to do here in this world. The love of this world, the love of the things that are in this world, this place is going to be burned up and not one thing is going to remain here. And it says, knowing that these things will be dissolved, what manner of person ought you be? You know? You guys, I see these people, there's all kinds. I see these people that are, uh, they're just making merchandise of people. They're, uh, I've seen them where they're even selling their coffee cups, their magazines, their books, um, doing commercials, even on YouTube. Uh, commercials. Now, if you're there to try to reach out to people in, uh, in this place, they can't help but do what they do. They're driven by it, okay? Money. That's why they do what they do. 2 Timothy 3.13 
Evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. It's going to get worse. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter among you, not sparing the flock. Acts 20.29 20, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves unto the apostles of Christ. Don't marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing for his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. Second Corinthians chapter 11. 13 through 15. This is happening now. You guys, there's not much more time. Take comfort in this. Okay? There's not much more time here. We are in the sixth seal. I guarantee it. We're in the sixth seal. And most people are not going to be ready for this. Most people are going to be falling in pits. Pits that have been dug for them. And uh, they've been following these people. They've been sinning every day, just like they say they do. They say everybody does, but they don't. Um, they do, because they admitted to doing it. And uh, it'll be their own end, their own undoing. Second Thessalonians chapter 2. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a fallen away first, that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusions, that they should believe the lies. This is what's going to happen with them. Second Timothy three thirteen. But evil men and seducers will wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. 14. But continue thou in the things which that you have learned and has been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them. 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. 16. All scripture is given in inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. That the man of God may be per perfect, thoroughly furnished, and do all works. You guys, you notice that it said, all scripture is given for correction. Otherwise, it has been taken in a way that is taken out of context that no longer will allow it to be used. There's people out there that won't use scripture for correction. They'd rather keep you thinking, you know, future sinning, okay? And we're called to walk in holiness. If you read the scriptures about Paul, that's what they strived after, holiness, not wickedness, you know? Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. All you got to do is hear what comes out of these people's mouths. Anybody that's going to be uh, telling you future sins, you know, that's not of God. No time ever did anybody ever preach that. Even after, it's not even written. Even after Jesus Christ's crucifixion, nowhere did any of the disciples preach or teach on future sinning. Never. They taught on repentance. They taught on holiness, uh, following Christ. Not these. Not what they're teaching now. People are going to only have themselves to blame.
Hebrews chapter 6, 1 through 5. Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on unto perfection, not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith towards God, of the doctrine of baptism and laying on of hands, and of resurrection of the dead and the eternal judgment. And this will we do, if God permit. For it is impossible for those who are once enlightened to have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Now here I'm going to continue on 6 through 8 in Hebrews chapter 6. If they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh, and to put him to an open shame. For the earth, which drinketh in the rain, that cometh often upon it, and bringeth forth herbs, meet for them by whom it is dressed, receiving blessings from God. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing whose end is to be burned. You guys, it's clearly easy to see the strong delusions that are going on right now. It's clearly easy to see it. Yeah. Very clearly easy to see this. Many people are full. I've seen them on these future centers, man. On these channels. They're just full of... Uh, I mean hate, a lot of hate, especially when you speak against uh, future sinning. When you speak against it, they're going to come against you. You know, I've noticed these channels. They've got a lot of uh, demonic, Satanist type people on them. You guys, it's not, you got to be careful. You don't want to be having itchy ears. Scripture tells us, it warns us about this type of uh, unsound doctrine that's being taught in the last days. Okay? That's why it says, be anxious for nothing. Don't be anxious for it. You know? Abide in Christ daily. Do this walk daily. Don't, um, don't be anxious. Don't be, I wouldn't be following these date setters either. You know? I'd get into your scriptures. Read the word of God. You know? I would get into scriptures and see what they say about the last days. What scripture warns us about in the last days. Okay? We're all going to be held accountable. All of us. For the things that we're doing. And uh, encouraging people. And as scripture says, those that fear God will depart from evil. Now I've been told that I'm causing people to be fearful well, I hope, if anything, it causes them to want to depart from evil, okay? I think that might be what caused them to start coming against me, you know, speaking against me because I was making several videos about a call to holiness when uh, a lot of this got started, you guys. So generally, you just got to be seeing where it's all coming from. Be following Christ. Don't follow any man on this earth. Okay? If they're not reading and giving you scripture and uh, instructions and warning what Christ was warning about um, on these last days, be careful. Many of these people, you guys, hyper grace teaching, these future sins, this is what they do. Don't be led astray to follow this stuff because it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Yeah. You know, God bless you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Pray for all my brothers and sisters and all the children all around the world of all nation, tongue, and kindred to be strong in our Lord. We are in the sixth seal. You're going to see the wicked are going to be getting worse. They're going to be waxing much worse. Like it says, there's nothing hidden that won't be revealed. Okay. All you got to do is watch. These people are going to be brought out. God's going to turn that notch up a little bit more. 
and you're going to see these people for who they really are. Okay? They're going to be under strong delusions. They're not going to be, they're not even going to be aware. That's why it says the wicked will continue to do wicked, and the wicked won't understand, but the wise will. So I would recommend you guys stay to the word of God, believe in Jesus Christ, do this one day at a time. Don't lean yourself into sin. We're called into holiness. Okay? God is holy. God bless you. In Jesus' name. <laughs>